Hello to here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. I don't know if the snow's falling where you're at, but it has been falling here. So today we're going to do a snowy, wintry scene coaster. It's going to be really cute. For our snow scene background, I'm going to take about an ounce of resin and I have this medium blue glitter. I'm going to pour a bunch in there. It's, it's a fine glitter and it'll be a nice background for like an icy day. Pour it in there, mix it up, pour it in the mold, pop the bubbles and let that sit. We'll let it sit for about 12 hours. Our blue background has cured and now I have these little buttons. And it's a couple kids in a snowsuit, there's a snowman, a puppy dog, and these are actually buttons. So you can see the little loop on the back. And we're gonna cut that off. I'm gonna take my wire cutter and just clip it off just like that. So we don't want to just plop them on the blue background. We want to give it a little personality. So we are going to paint. So we're just going to start with some white for the snow that has kind of fallen on the ground. And we're just going to paint right on it. I've told you in the past, just think of resin as your canvas. That's all we're doing right now. Now I'm just going to put some green for a tree. Maybe we'll put a couple more back here, because why not? So I'll take some brown and just make this the trunks right on the bottom and I'll go over the green again because it needs to be a little bit more solid. So I have a couple coats on the trees. Now I'm going to take a lighter green and just kind of give it some highlights. I have a little yellow here and we're gonna just do a circle for like the sun or the moon or maybe it's a little dusky out who knows we just want it to be there I don't want to make it too very thick and then I'm gonna take the back of my paintbrush I'm gonna just drop some snow in the background When I get them placed roughly where I want them, all I need to do is take some clear drying glue, put it on the backs of the buttons, and this is going to make sure they don't float when we put the next layer of resin on there. And then all we need to do is let that dry. However, I would like to add a little more dimension to the snow on the ground just like we did when we did the um, the car and the truck and I'm just gonna add it on there so they're standing in the snow Now all of this needs to dry again and then we can come back and add our final layer of resin. I've mixed more resin so we can finish this coaster and figure it's going to take at least um, two ounces. And I say that because it's raised and you just want to make sure you have enough. Now with this one you're going to want to pop bubbles more often because behind the little people there's going to be um, gaps where air bubbles are going to come out for a while. So you want to make sure everything is embedded right down to the little puppy snout. This one's going to be a little thicker than normal too. Now we're going to let this sit for a minimum of 12 hours and then we will come back. But in the meantime, I will be coming back multiple times just to make sure 
I keep getting all those bubbles. The coaster's cured, so I'm gonna pop it out. And here it is, and it looks pretty cute. You got all your glitter going on in the background, and then you got your painted trees, which is very, very basic. And then you have a little dimension with the buttons and the snow. I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera, but it looks pretty neat. So this is just an easy way to kind of turn your coaster into a little art piece, because really they all kind of are little art pieces, and you can have them standing around they're just fun and you can, you know, get as complicated or as simple as you want with them. So I hope you like this one and I hope you have the happiest of holidays. Stay warm this winter and be sure to let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I hope you guys like the way the coaster turned out. You can find a lot of these fun buttons at the craft stores and there is a large variety of them. You can do stickers too. They have dimensional stickers and you can customize it to be whatever you want it to be. So the end of the year is coming soon, so happy holidays, and I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.